Hey, it's Kevin here from Whole Fleet Diagnostics. Uh, today I'm just going to go through how to access your fault code troubleshooting information, wiring diagrams, um, and all the other service information available in the JAL test software without actually having a vehicle in front of you. So uh, you can utilize the JAL test software uh, without a truck or, or a piece of equipment um, hooked up to the diagnostic link. Now, uh, one of the, one of the um, caveats with this is that you have to have your JAL JAL test diagnostic link, your JAL test, uh, this is the, the V9 link, you have to have it plugged into the laptop with the JAL test software um, in order to access this information. So if I flip over to my software here, um, you can see that we're kind of, we're at the commercial vehicle side, um, we're in the auto connect function. Um, let's just use an example here of uh, a PACR, uh, and we're, maybe we're looking for um, after treatment system uh, wiring diagrams for a, a PACR engine. Uh, so if I flip over to manual, uh, this is going to give me the option to go through and select makes and models. Um, in, in order, in the commercial vehicle side, in order to find this information, uh, we have to actually go through and, and um, select the exact system from the exact manufacturer that we're after. So in this case, I'm going to go to manufacturer. I'm going to look at my list here. I've got PACR up on my favorites list here. If it's not there, it might be in the sidebar. Um, we just have to add it. So Navistar, for example, that's a common one. I should have that up there. Um, but we'll go into PACR. And, and again, we're looking for an after treatment module, uh, which is, is related to engine. So if we've got a, an MX engine in here, <clears throat> let's, uh, let's click on MX. Um, and uh, this will bring up a list of all the modules related to uh, this PACR MX engine. You can see here that we've got options for exhaust gas after treatment system modules. Um, so we've got EAS3, EAS4. You may need to do a little bit of investigation to figure out exactly which system it is that, that you're, you're looking for. I'm going to go ahead and uh, highlight the, the um, exhaust gas after EAS4. Let's say it's a 2017. More than likely we got an EAS4 on there. If I highlight that, you can see here that all of a sudden we've got uh, some options that popped up on the left-hand um, system menu. Okay, so we've got our system technical data we can look at. If I click on that, it should bring up information, uh, torque specs, um, flow diagrams, uh, component information as well. Uh, so you, you can grab some information there. We've got the diagrams uh, from here. I can look at the operating diagram or the wiring diagram itself. Now, this uh, does not require internet access. The wiring diagrams on the JAL test software are built in, um, does not require internet access in order to, uh, to grab those, which is great, uh, particularly for any uh, technician um, who, uh, who's working in a remote location. You know, at the very least, those wiring diagrams for our electrical faults, which are also common today, um, those are going to be uh, golden for you uh, when when working um, in, in remote locations. So built in the software, as you can see, um, you know, if, if I'm looking for, um, you know, uh, a relay or something like that or a fuse just for example, I can search through the, the component list, uh, click on a fuse and it actually goes through and highlights that in the, uh, in the diagram for me, right? So <clears throat> we've got those options there. Uh, the nice thing about these jaw test wiring diagrams is some of the components at, and you know with the popular brands quite a few of the components show up with uh, component information if i hover over uh, for example this after treatment fuel shutoff valve and i double click on that uh, we're going to see some component information come up so really useful stuff uh, such as you know where is that component located you can see it by that little tiny red dot um, that's uh, that's um, uh, included in this picture here um, we've got tightening torques again uh, we've got component replacement guide link uh, if, if we want to know how to replace that we've got you know we can display the live data from this component at any given time so the, the wiring diagrams are really nice uh, again you, you know I don't have the vehicle in front of me I've just gone in selected the system I'm after um, and I've been able to select uh, system technical data uh, wiring diagrams I got some maintenance information available here too. troubleshoot by symptom TSBs component replacement guides now with this with the symptoms and the TSBs you can see here we've got a, a tiny little network icon um, built into this uh, troubleshooting by symptoms and releases procedures TSBs 
those are the items that require internet access in, in order to, to uh, load up in the JAL test software. So uh, unfortunately for these, uh, we have to make sure that we have an internet connection a reliable internet connection in order to bring that stuff up. But uh, the nice thing is when it does load, it's loaded into the software. You don't have to flip flop back and forth between you know a web browser and your um, and your uh, JAL test software. So um, that's uh, that's an example. Uh, you know, just one example of how we can we can go through and, and access this information uh, without uh, without having the vehicle right in front of us. Now, in addition to that, um, let's say I've got a PACR, let's go back to that PACR after treatment module here. So I'm gonna highlight that PACR after treatment module. Um, and you can see there's uh, in, in this, um, the second menu here from the left, uh, we've got a manual diagnostics um, section here, okay? So if I highlight that exhaust after treatment system, and I click on see info in the top right hand corner. This is going to allow me to access the fault code troubleshooting manual um, for this system in particular. Okay, so right off the bat, it gives us a little um, uh, example of, of a fault code. So it, it must be the format used by the manufacturer. So it's got to be pack our fault code. Um, I'm going to try to stick it. Let, I mean, let's try this example one that we give us here. So uh, P3972. We'll see if it comes up with anything. Hit enter. And it looks like this is a knock sensor behind the SCR catalyst. So the outlet knock sensor, um, the, the, it, it brought up the fault code um, information for this particular fault code P3972. You can see here that we've got uh, about the fault, and this gives us information on the sensor itself. So it was that knock sensor, uh, the knock sensor that's that's uh, suspect in in you know generating this fault. So we've got information about that component available. If I click on there, it's got a nice little picture, the pinouts, where it's located, uh, that kind of thing. And then I've got um, a link to the wiring diagrams like we just saw previously. And then I've actually even got fault code troubleshooting trees built in. Now, again, um, this is going to require internet access. You can see by the little network icon um, associated here. And you know the beauty of this is if you know if you're on the internet and and you're you're looking for um, this fault code information uh, and before you go out to the truck, at least you can scan through and see. Okay, well, you know what am I going to check when I get out there? Um, so you can see we've got our different steps. You can kind of check them off as you go. Um, that kind of thing, whether they're they're in spec or out of spec, uh, and it gives you links to some information. So one of my favorite parts of the um, the Falco troubleshooting trees that Jaw Test has built in here um, is is actually that it gives you links to what you're what you're going to be looking for. Um, in these particular uh, steps. So if I get down to check NOx outlet sensor in the SCR catalytic converter, um, you can see here it, it includes that troubleshooting info or that component information in the step. So I don't have to go looking for it. It's it's all kind of built in here. Um, so it tells you, walks you through exactly what to what to do. Um, and then uh, and then you can select whether or not that's you know in spec or out of spec and move on to the next one. So if this one's good, I'll, I'll click the check mark and I'll go down to the second one, um, and then you know carry on through there. So it's kind of nice that these are all kind of built in uh, to the uh, to the software. Uh, and takes the guesswork out of it. Um, kind of just uh, you know it puts everything all in one place, and that's what Jaw Test does really well with the software. That's why we. Um, uh, we distribute and, and support JAL test exclusively uh, as whole fleet diagnostics. So um, lots of other cool features included in here, lots of other time savers, um, and uh, definitely JAL test makes you a, a better technician and enables you to be the best technician that you can be. So <clears throat> if you are looking for training, further training on the JAL test software, uh, whole fleet diagnostics uh, always has um, regularly scheduled um, training sessions at wholefleet.ca slash training. Um, you can see here we've got our, our January schedule up um, and, um, and ready to go here. Uh, limited seating in each class. Uh, it's not 
necessarily exclusive to whole fleet um, customers um, but uh, if you are interested in, and you want some more info um, and you know maybe you want to see the program in action attend one of our introductory training sessions um, or you can actually even head over to the demo section of our website and you can request a demo whenever you almost whenever you'd like um, and we'll do a live demo with you uh, and you know I would look forward to uh, seeing any of you in a live demo uh, thanks very much. Uh, definitely leave comments in, in the comments section if you have any questions, uh, any requests for other videos on, on how to do a certain calibration or, or procedure using the JAL test software for a certain maker model. We'd be happy to look into that for you and, and create a, a custom video for that.